Taylor. Don't rush to the bar, fool, if you ain't got no paper. That's the rules. High as fuck, sloppy drunk when I'm passing through. Rolling doobies up, yo, who we passing to? Hit the club, spend this money up. Rolling number one, drink, act a fool. That's what I have to do. Real competitive scrimmage. I thought the uh, defense came out initially, did a great job, had I think three or four three and outs to start with. Uh, offensively, we hurt ourselves with some dumb penalties and, and, and some drop passes. Uh, started making some plays as, as the scrimmage went along. I thought the offense did a nice job at the end of half situation, uh, getting, getting a couple scores. Uh, you know, both sides, I thought, took care of the ball. The third group did uh, uh, threes and fours, didn't do so, such a good job. It was good for the defense to, to get the takeaway in those situations. So, all in all, I, I think offensively and defensively, we saw some good things. We'll check the tape. I thought our kickers kicked the ball pretty well today. Uh, you know, both those guys hit 45, 46 yard field goals uh, during the scrimmage, and uh, I think we got a real good competition there. 10 days out, ready to name a starting quarterback? Uh, we're we're going to go in and, and uh, you know, evaluate the tape. Uh, we might, uh, may not officially name it, but. Uh, as we get into Wednesday's practice, we will have a guy that's uh, definitely going to be getting the majority of the reps. So uh, we'll have a discussion with the offensive staff and figure that out. Before doing that, just off observation, what are some of the things that stood out that those guys did today to, to make their cases? Well, I thought, I thought Zach was very, very poised. He, he did a good job leading the group down the field. He's, he's performed well in, in all three scrimmages, I thought. Uh, but it's, you know, it's, it's, it's the whole... Uh, camp that we're evaluating and, and going through everything and, and see who's going to give us our best chance. As we mentioned before, you know we're likely to play a couple quarterbacks in that first game. We don't have the advantage of having a preseason game uh, to see who can do what. But uh, uh, you know, right now nobody has totally seized it and nobody's taking themselves out of it. So um, you know, we will name a starter and, and we will have a guy who will get the majority of the reps, but we will also play two just so we can start developing our depth there at that position. Do you feel like this was another step forward from this last scrimmage last week? A absolutely. You know, I was, I was concerned we had you know a few penalties early on uh, that we got to get cleaned up. You know, we had a first and goal at the one yard line going in, and uh, you know we had our twos out there and we had a false start. So now your first goal from the six, we end up having to kick a field. Goal. And they're going to decide who's the guy starting Wednesday. What do you think you've done to make the case for you being that guy? I mean, all I can do is come here and compete and just try to be as clean as possible today. You know, learn from the past two scrimmages and just do what I can and uh, fix things up. So how, how would you describe the, the feeling you anticipate until you find out the news of who the starter is going to be? I mean, just keep working like I have been. Uh, go up, watch the film myself, uh, go through everything, dissect it, see how, how it went, and just see how I can get better and just keep working. Was there anything in particular that you saw in the first two scrimmages that you wanted to do better today? Um, just getting the ball out faster, as fast as I can. You know, you can never get the ball out fast enough, so just keep working on that, and I just wanted to rep that today. Coach said you were very poised out there. Um, describe what you were seeing when you were back there. I mean, just trying to be more comfortable. When you're in a quarterback position, you have a lot coming at you. You got to know what everybody on the field is doing. You got to understand what the defense is doing, what they're trying to throw at you. So you got to be as comfortable as you can, while also, you know, everything's going on in your mind. So. Thanks. How comfortable do you feel that you are with everything? Oh, sorry, with everything that you've uh, been through over the last couple of years? I mean, I've just learned as much as I can, and uh, through that, I feel like I've gotten better and better, and um, just being able to stay calm, and it really helps out there. So you're not, you know, frantic and, and missing missing reads or whatever could come with that. Zach, who do you feel like uh, receivers-wise? There's a lot of guys who haven't played uh, in a game before. Who do you feel like it's been? Right, I mean, they're all out there competing. I feel like, you know, guys are making plays and showing up. We just got to stay consistent at that. And as we get, we're over a little, little, little over a week away from the first game. So we just need to smooth that out and, you know, figure out who's going who's gonna to step up. Does it feel like you're that close to the first game? And I mean, it's crazy. We're still in camp mode, you know. I'm just day in and day out coming out here and doing it. And next thing you know, we're going to be game prepping here. So it's just, it's different. But, you know, we got to be ready for it. Are you ready for class? Yeah, we're getting uh, getting back into the books. That's gonna that's gonna be weird. It's been uh, it's been football 24/7 every day for the past couple weeks, so it's gonna be different to have to put your mind on some schoolwork. How much does that change things when you're when you have when that is a focus of your day as well?